Disney Cinderella, A Night at the Ball A golden carriage clattered through a quiet town and slowed outside the prince's castle. The castle was aglow and full of music, for it was no ordinary night. It was the night of the prince's royal ball, and inside the carriage was no ordinary passenger. She was a kind and courageous young woman under her fairy godmother's spell. She believed, especially on an evening like that one, that anything was possible. Meet Ella. Though Ella had gotten to the prince's castle in a golden carriage, her life was not so glamorous. In fact, her wicked stepfamily treated her like a servant. She did their dishes, washed their clothes, and slept by the fireplace. The ash that fell on her face prompted her jealous stepsisters to call her Cinderella. Whenever Ella needed a break from her stepfamily, she rode her trusted horse through the beautiful forest. On one such ride, she saved a stag from a hunt and met a nice apprentice named Kit. The prince was hosting a grand ball for all the kingdom, and Ella hoped to see Kit there. But on the night, of the ball, Ella's stepmother forbade her from attending. She did not want Ella to capture the prince's attention. So the cruel woman and her daughters ripped up Ella's dress and left her to cry in the ashes. That very well could have been the end of Ella's evening, but then an old beggar woman appeared at the house, asking for a bowl of milk, which Ella kindly gave her. The old woman was actually Ella's fairy godmother. She had seen Ella's kindness and courage. Now she would help Ella get to the ball. With a wave of her wand, the fairy godmother turned the pumpkin into a golden carriage, four mice into horses, and two lizards into footmen. A squawking goose became a coachman. Lastly, the fairy godmother transformed Ella's rags into a sky blue gown and created sparkling new glass slippers. Ella was absolutely beautiful. There was just one catch. The fairy godmother's spell would fade at midnight. But Ella didn't mind. She had thought she wouldn't be going at all. Now she would get to spend a few magical hours at the ball. Her heart fluttered with the hope that she would see Kit there. Ella took a deep breath as she climbed the steps to the palace. When she entered the ballroom, there was a hush. She amazed every guest with her beauty. Seeing her in her gorgeous gown and sparkling jewels, they thought she was a mysterious princess. Suddenly, Ella spotted Kit, and Kit spotted Ella. He made his way to her and asked her to dance. The two gazed into each other's eyes. They danced. Ella thought everybody was staring at Kit, but Kit told Ella that everyone was staring at her enchanted by her pure grace. After their dance, Kit took Ella on a tour of the palace. Ella admitted she had come to the ball to see Kit. Kit admitted he was no apprentice, but the prince himself, and he had hoped she would come. Kit showed Ella his mother's garden, a secret place he'd never shown anyone. He pushed her on a swing. When one of her glass slippers flew off, Kit slid it back onto her foot. The two felt something for the very first time. Perhaps it was love. The palace clock began to strike. It would soon be midnight, and Ella would be back in her torn rags with only a pumpkin to get her home. She panicked, afraid to tell Kit she was actually a servant girl. So she bid him a hurried goodbye and ran out of the palace, the bells tolling behind her. One of her glass slippers slid off again, but she left it behind, hopping into her carriage. Ella could hear hoofbeats behind her as the carriage's walls started to turn orange. In a flash, Ella, wearing her tattered rags once more, found herself thrown to the side of the road. A pumpkin, four mice, two lizards, and a goose nearby. The King's Grand Duke rode up to the scene. As Ella talked to the sneering man, Her resolve grew. She would be brave and find a way to see Kit again. For she was more than a servant girl, more than Cinderella. She was Ella, a girl who stood up for what was right 
and believed there was power and courage and kindness. A girl who believed in happy endings. And a happy ending she had, for nothing, not her wicked stepmother's trying to keep Ella locked away in the attic, nor the Grand Duke's selfish schemes, could stop Kit and Ella from finding each other. As Kit gave the lost glass slipper to its owner, he and Ella vowed to be kind and courageous, together, united as king and queen. The end. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe. Don't miss our other Disney princess and children's books read aloud. Bye bye.